the worst thing that can happen to any parent in old age is when you are left to age away disgracefully without the presence of your children. I'm talking about parents that are not there in the lives of their kids when the kids were younger. I'm talking about parents that never bothered about the welfare of their children when those children were younger. I'm talking about those parents that never really cared if their children were going to eat, if they were going to get proper education. I'm talking about parents that had the means to look after their children but never bothered. Now, everything is not even about money. Even if you, as a parent, you didn't really have money to take care of your kids, show them love, show them affection. Be attentive to them when they are speaking to you. Be in their lives, no matter how busy you are. Try and create time for your children. Because you see, most of the things we parents do, you might think these kids are very young, they don't know. They are watching. They are watching and they are keeping mental notes of everything that is happening. And they will not talk, but they will be waiting for you in future. It is when you have now gotten to that age, when you will now think, oh, you want to rely on your kids, either financially or emotionally or psychologically, and they are not there. You remember what you did to them. Now, some of us may think, oh, even if I have kids, I will also uh, you know, plan for my future. I'm setting aside funds for my future. I'm taking care of my future. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be lonely. I'm not going to be this, that. It's easier said than done. Wait till you are old. Even with all your money, you can still be lonely. Do you know what it is to know that your kids are hanging around the world? They are littered everywhere. Nobody is coming to look after you. Nobody is coming to ask of you. Not even one of them is calling on the phone to say, Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Are you okay? Because these kids, especially the kids of this generation, they don't really care, oh. See, a lot of them are just too, they are so much in a hurry to grow up and move out and start exploring their own lives. So you as the parents, you must make sure that while they are young and growing, play your part to be in their lives. Play your part to, to attract their attention, to attract their love, to attract their care because they grow so fast. Once they've grown and they have moved out and they've moved on with their lives, it will take the grace of God for some of them to remember you that you were not in their lives. It will take the grace of God for them to remember you. That's why sometimes when you see children that grow up and later get attached to a particular parent, the next thing you other people start to say is, oh, that particular parent must have brainwashed the child or that particular parent must have told the child what to do. It's not about that. It's because that particular parent was there in the life of the children when they were younger. So when these kids grow up, no matter how busy they tend to be with their, uh, you know, their life and their newfound status and all of that, wherever they are, they still remember that person that was in their life. Parents, try to be in the life of your kids. Try to be in the life of your kids. Because at old age, no matter the money you have, no matter the comforts you have, it's painful to know that your offspring is roaming around the earth, not bothered if you are alive. <laughs>